Okay, so I am at uh, a field and um, mostly just pennies that I'm finding. Um, I found a you know, regular penny. Last last night I was here with my boy, I found a wheat penny. We found $4 and change. We spent $3 of it on soda, so still a good night to spend with my boy. Um, but I kept finding penny, 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 garbage, can, um, more garbage. Rang up as a quarter. I was excited, I'm like, oh, finally a quarter. Um, but it was garbage, more garbage. This one rang up, I think, as a penny or a dime. I'm not sure what it is or what it's made out of. Um, I thought it was a bullet shell at first, but it is not. Uh, then I got over to this hole and a 1971 uh, quarter. I'm like, oh, cool. Um, so I was all excited. And so I was about to move on. And I thought, well, my theory is always recheck the hole. Well, I rechecked the hole. And then there was a 1984 quarter. I'm like, sweet, 50 cents in one hole. Thought I would check it again. 1972 quarter, sweet, 75 cents in one hole. Checked right next to it, got a penny, so 76 cents. So I'm just moving along, there's other garbage, other pennies, and um, I come along to this, sorry about my beeping there, and I don't know if you can read that, 83, 84, 82, it's really acting like a dime. Um, it could be a quarter. Quarters are usually 85 to 90, usually 86, 87. Dimes are 80 to 84, maybe. Uh, pennies are 78 to 81. Um, so my my big thing is is I'm trying to find something worth something now. And you know I've gotten so many so much change. Uh, my boy and I actually went out and bought um, a second Garrett pointer, uh, pin pointer with the money that we found. So. That's pretty cool. And then we bought a shovel um, so that we're not bringing this huge monster shovel into the fields. And so uh, Garrett AT Pro and Garrett Pinpointers are really doing a great job uh, for us. So I'm here and this looks like it could be a dime, could be a quarter. Let's see what we can find here. It's close to the surface. I thought, oh, where are you? This is my goal, metal detecting. So this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what it's made of. Hopefully it's silver. I'm starting to find more and more rings because I'm pulling everything, every piece of garbage. I might pull 500 pieces of garbage before I get a nice silver quarter or those silver bullion uh, coins that I found last uh, month. You want to look that up on YouTube. Um, I found a huge chunk of copper, pure copper. Let's see what this is. This is some kind, I think, women's ring. It is, um, it is crushed a little bit. It's probably been here a while. I'm gonna try and clean that up and see what it says. So I'll clean that up and get back to you with that with some more of my finds. I'm so stoked. Rings. Okay, so this is bringing up, I think pretty similar to the last thing I had. This is 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, um, which I thought the other one might be a, you know, a penny, a dime, or a quarter, uh, really a dime or a quarter. So, and it was that ring. Oh, and hey, I did look it up. Um, I mean, I cleaned it out and it says 925 on it. Does anybody know what that means? Um, if you can message me, it says 9.25 or 9.25. I don't know. It's hard to see in this sunlight. 
but it says 9.25 or 925 and then on this side it's got some kind of like symbol C or CH or C dot or C Omega something like that um, let me know what you know of that kind of stuff if that means it's silver or not um, so I'll tuck that away in my glove and then we'll see what we can find in here that's ringing up the same in my mind it's a coin Yeah, see it was just a penny, but a penny, this penny is ringing up very close to that ring, which I think might be silver with that 9.25 or 9.25 on it. So um, that means you do have to dig everything. It's kind of disappointing to say, oh, you know, I just want to go out and get a metal detector and I want to go out and find gold. Um, but it's going to take work and patience. And this is the thing to get. The Garrett AT Pro or the Garrett AT Gold. These are your machines. Okay, so I just found that ring and then that penny. Um, and I'm always preaching, pick everything. This is ringing. I don't know if you can read that. 53, 52, 48. Usually a nickel is 46 and almost always 46. Um, so I'm like, oh, you know, preaching to you, pull everything, pull everything. And I'm like to myself, do I want to pull this? I'm like, yeah, I just told my viewers that I should pull everything. I thought this was going to be a pull tab and it's, it's right on top. I don't know if you can see that. Where's my thing? There we go. Right on top is a nickel, which in itself isn't that cool, but you don't find as many nickels. Uh, such bad lighting here. So it's just a regular nickel. It's not a, you know, a buffalo or anything like that. So, you know, keep searching. See what you can find. There we go. But I thought that was a pull tab and it's worth five cents instead of zero. Okay, so here's a good lesson. Um, all morning I've been digging up 45, 46, 48. Sometimes it's a nickel, that's what I'm hoping for, and hopefully a buffalo nickel. But most of the time it's aluminum cans. I did find aluminum tabs, aluminum cans. I found a little Lisa Marie or Ella Marie pendant, which is cool. Uh, probably a picture in this video. Um, this was ringing up 46, 48, and I'm like, oh, I'm sick of aluminum. So I thought, well, maybe it's a nickel, I'll look it. First thing I found was a quarter. It didn't even ring the quarter. All it did was bing or ting or bing, the bling, whatever, the nickel. So once I found the quarter, I knew there was something else in the hole, so I looked for the nickel as well. Always re-look in the hole. Okay, so on the way to the car, I need to get going. Uh, I got a party to get to, but I always just drag my Garrett AT Pro uh, along the ground as I go and I found a penny by a playground and then a quarter by a baseball field and then this wheat penny It's really hard to see. It's not in the greatest shape um, It's really beat up, but I can see it's a wheat penny it says one cent. It's really hard to see But you'll always find something on the way to your car, too. So just keep at it